If you're going to graph an inequality, and it happens to be in standard form, it's a little bit different. First thing, like when we're graphing slope-intercept, you're just going to begin as if it's an equation. And how do we graph standard form? We make a t-table. And we put 0 in for x and y. So putting 0 in for x makes that term gone. We just get y equals 6. We're pretending it's an equation. Put 0 in for y. That's gone. Divide by negative 2. 6 divided by negative 2 is negative 3. So we pretended it's an equation. We graph those two points. And the first thing we need to do at this point is decide what type of line it is. Solid or dashed? Right, it's less than, so it's a dashed line. The next thing we need to determine is which side we need to shade. Here's what's a little bit different about standard form. Less than might mean shading under or above. And we have to try a point to know which side. The easiest point to try is 0, 0. Now if I try this point in here and it works, I'm going to shade the side that it's on. But if I try it and it doesn't make it true, it doesn't work, then I'm going to shade the other side. Why is 0, 0 easy to work with? Negative 2 times 0 plus 0 just makes 0. Is 0 less than 6? Yes, it is. So because that point makes it true, this side is the side that works. That's the side we're going to shade. If it didn't work, then we would have shaded the other side. Remember, when it's standard form, you have to try a point to know which side to shade.